Oh! Hello, beautifuls! Welcome back to my Chanel. And yes, I am finally back in London here to bring you new content. <laughs> so, my lovelies, I am back in London. Thank you for asking. I had a wonderful time in Devon with Roly. We actually planned to do a wonderful hike across Dartmoor, but unfortunately, the weather was like this. Look at this beautiful vista. Can you imagine? Silent Hill's got nothing on this girl. So, unfortunately, we couldn't go for our really long hike, but I did, however, really really enjoy Devon, but I also very much enjoy being back in London. So, my lovelies, I really enjoyed doing an episode of this, so today we're gonna go all the way back to the underground techno Berlin club that is Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. I still feel a bit funny about saying that that title, because it kind of feels a bit like going like, oh, I can convert him, and I'm not sure, <laughs> don't really like that very much. <laughs> Queer Eye is such a better name. Right, I think we've got a little bit of housekeeping to do from the last episode we watched of this. So, I made an offhanded comment saying, government sanctioned cheese after one of the guys, I still forget his name, he was one of the queer guys who was a, went on to be a chef in some show? It was Ted Allen. Luxaria, you silly bitch. Is it chopped? Is that what it's called? But he made an offhand comment about like a block of cheese being like, we love American cheese from the government. Uh I didn't actually realize that this is actually a, a government sanctioned cheese, which all go like uh, the way that I learned about this was absolutely wild. So I spent about half an hour in a Wikipedia hole learning about the Missouri cheese caves. Did you know anything about this? I'm sure that people in the comments can explain this so much better than I can. But as far as I know, the government in America started producing, uh, I guess welfare cheese? Can you call it welfare? Is that what it is? I guess it kind of is. Like, because of the Great Depression in the 1930s, the government wanted to make sure that there was always a staple kind of food available for people who really needed it. And because of this, apparently the government produced so much cheese that it has a surplus of cheese. And these go into the Missouri cheese caves and they stay there apparently. Now, I am really paraphrasing that story, my loves, but it is a fascinating read about how governments respond to economic crisis, which I did not expect to be seeing in Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, but there we go. Lots of people in the comments actually said that they either really liked American cheese or they really didn't like it. Now, I, as far as I understand, it is, is it really a cheese? Is it really a cheese? Is it like a, a plasticky, like cheese singles? I really don't quite understand what on earth this is that I'm talking about, my loves. But it's a great way to plug the comments of the last video because if you go ahead and read them, they are fascinating. A fascinating history about the government's relationship with cheese. I did a leg workout yesterday and today I'm just like, oh, BBL, where are you? <laughs> Apparently also the culture queer in this, um, oh, that sounded like a slur, didn't it? You're watching the BBC. Apparently also the guy that's associated with culture Culture in the first like couple of episodes of this series are uh, it, like doesn't continue apparently he gets replaced like two or three episodes in so I guess we might see it today but that was like a point of contention as well in the previous comments as people were like who is this man I do not know who he is so my loves without any further ado would you like to join me today in holy matrimony taking it all the way back to 2003 and watch queer eye for the straight guy let's pop in the off hanger and let's watch some disgusting Disgusting, hateful fashion, and maybe some more ochre. <laughs> Does it just start every episode with them like jumping into the car at full speed? Fab Five, we got another long hair. Brian, Brian. Butch and Sheffel, aka Attila the Hood. Mm -hmm. Check them out. What? Sorry, that was so intense. Hang on. So we've got Brian Butch Sheppel, and they they made a comment about him having long hair. What did he say? Something what? Fab Five, we got another long hair. Brian Butch Sheffel, aka Attila the Hun. Mm -hmm. What? AKA what? Attila the Hun? What did he say? Well, AKA Attila the Hun. Mm -hmm. Check him out. I don't know what that yeah. reference is. He's single. He weighs 210 pounds. And ready to mingle. 15 pounds. Oh, oh him. let's hear it. Everybody clap, well, except you, the... because you're driving, sir. Kian, you're driving. I actually pronounced his name wrong last time. His name is kind of spelt like Ryan, but if you take away the R and replace it with a K, but it's actually pronounced Kian, and I should know this because I used to know a Kian. <laughs> what a silly bitch. Good heavens. By trade, you'd never know from his outfit. I haven't seen a get up like this. In he is a scenic carpenter. In Chicago. He looks like a hunter and gatherer. He does. Oh, you know, he's an Hunt artist. something He wants a place to show his artwork. We have to get him a gallery open. He's an artist. Oh, here we go. Gay Street. Oh, it's really black and white, girls. 
Here's the phone. Oh my god. Kion. Kian, answer the phone. Who is who's this? Ted Allen. See? So Jay Rodriguez, he is the one that replaces the current one that's on there. And I didn't know this because I sort of like the first episode, I didn't really pay attention to the title. So this guy, you probably won't see him in this episode, but he becomes the culture expert. Oh, swatches on the game. Felicia. Oh, Carson twirling in the gout. Fashion. Oh, ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Gay street, straight street, don't go there. Gout. Gout. Oh, put some glasses on. Fashion. Oh, he's got a wine glass. And needle in the eyeball, girl. In we go. Fever dream time. <laughs> we arrive for the gout. Oh, the music is so good. Oh! Hello. Giggle, giggling women. Wait, what? Oh, wait, do you have what? ID? No. Can you prove who you are? Do you have ID? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at He's you. Got some hair, isn't he? Straight guy. <laughs> I just love the fact that in massive letters they've got straight guy. As if, like, shame him. He's straight. At this show. This show is a million miles per minute. I absolutely love it. Butch Sheppel. Okay. Are you just the handyman or are you our victim? I'm the victim. Wow. Victim. Wow. 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 Okay. Ooh, computer. Can you buy all of your clothing at the Home Depot? No, online. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna online. take a peek around. The Buying clothes online in truth in the early 2000s is that's quite iconic. That means that this man was like on the ball. I was gonna say on the game, not maybe, well, maybe not on the game. We can't speculate just yet, can we? It does kind of amaze me that he's even said that because back in 2003, I think I was was I shopping online in 2003? No, I think I would have been just a little bit too young. I would not have thought about getting like all of my wardrobe online and now practically about 90 percent of my wardrobe is bought online that is like before the days of internet shopping girls it does kind of put into perspective that maybe like finding ways to dress yourself in a style that you liked was really difficult actually because unless you like followed magazines or new stylists or like new people who already had figured out their style how would you know because you have to learn what your style is like and now with the internet, it's so easy. You open up Pinterest and you're like, Gothic clothes girl, see a woman on the gout. Daytime tweed with an evening chiffon. But back in this day, a lot harder. Okay, I'm just gonna take a peek around the apartment. How a do you peek. feel about cutting the hair? Uh, well, you know, I've had it for nine years. I'm still just nine taking years. the tour. Oh, is this, this is the difference. So the other, so Jay Rodriguez is in this one. He is in this one. I'm gonna need Novimpia to stop sending me ridiculousness. What is this? She yeah, pegs him, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think he never uses this. Oh, a dustoilier. Interior design, make it a lamp. Because this house is a disaster. The Not futon is scary looking. Oh, it is very cluttered, isn't it? There's lots of things everywhere. So I made a comment in the last video about being like, well, shelves don't need to have everything everywhere. They just don't need it. And some people in the comments were like, but I really like my stuff. And what I just kind of want to get across in my videos is it's just my opinion. Like you do not have to live your life the way that I say. You absolutely do not have to follow my example. You absolutely do not even have to listen to me. If you want to live your life the way you want to, my love, I hope that I can get that across in my videos that you are more than entitled to live life how Ever you want if that's one thing you can take away from these videos just because I don't like things on shelves doesn't mean that you also have to not like things on shelves my love will you stop Novimpia girls just kidding I love you buy a nice pastry oh my goodness yeah there's a uh, oh look at that waste. kitchen <gasps> is this would you say this is a studio apartment a studio apartment, I guess. See, I don't know if I could ever live in a studio apartment. And hold your horses, girl. I'm not saying that like, oh, I couldn't possibly blah. The prices in London for like studio apartments are very, very, very similar to one bedroom apartments. I think there's only like 25 pounds a month in a lot of the places that I've been looking at, specifically moving to recently. Like studio apartment living is just not for me. I know you can get really glamorous ones and you can also get very affordable ones, but I just, there's something like, I, I don't know what it is. I need like walls. Even if I end up sharing, like, I need, like, what? I need, like, lines of differentiation. I just don't like, like, bed sets. This is, wow. like, a Oh, my God. Oh. Jay, culture, girls. I broke, the, I broke the wall. I broke the wall. I'm not sure it matters. This apartment's a real chick magnet. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's not. I'll, I'll be in the kitchen. It's not a bachelor pad, is it? Or is it a bachelor pad? Is that what it is? How about we start here? 
Oh, no. you ruined the whole organization there. They're, they weren't organized. Yes, they were. They were alphabetized by ugly, ugly, and uglier. Don't get with Carson, exactly. girls. She'll right. beat you. Work ugly and then regular ugly. Something about guys with long hair that really like makes me go like, oh. I just, I don't know. It's very Viking. It's very like metal head. I really quite like it. Mm, I'm learning things about myself here, girls. <laughs> girls, girls. Is this a door that actually works that goes outside? Everything is everywhere. Nothing really lives anywhere. What is oh, the layout of this I don't apartment? Have a lot to work with here. This is the 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 what's what's the phrase I'm looking for? Blueprints. No, that's not what it is. What is it called? Floor plan. That's the word I'm looking for. What is the floor plan of this apartment? So there's like a, a is is it like a line? Is there like a room here attached to a room here, which is attached to a room here? Where did that door go to? Gosh, some of these apartments that we see are so bizarre, aren't they? It's so ugly. Everything so is ugly. so ugly. Hey, it all matches though, right? Oh, yeah. bathroom. Bathroom's right in the back. He seems so fun. Oh, 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 oh horrible. Snapshot. <laughs> oh, Carson's oh, been taken out, girls. <laughs> it's got, it's oh, got a no. few stains on Looks it. Like a couple of the sleepover guests didn't make it But your special friend is a bedwetter. <laughs> Not a whole lot of cooking going on in here. So, oh, look, a hole. It's a glory hole. You know what that's for? <laughs> yes, exactly. Who's Laurel? Is Laurel your girlfriend? She's just someone on Broadway you're stalking. It's kind of like, I don't want to touch anything. I like the art. You're gonna be, able, you're gonna yeah, sort yeah, yeah. of design around the art. Um, you know, did you go to the Festival of Blood? <laughs> Are you gonna design around the art? You know, means generally no. Throw it all out, girl. I must admit, when I move from here into my new place, I absolutely cannot wait to be in a position where I can just decorate everything grayscale and the only color you will see in my home is the giant paintings on the wall they will have aspects of color in them and I cannot wait did you go to the festival of blood I did not make it this year I was Good a little times. disappointed a cowboy Good times. Oh, oh my yeah. grossness oh, oh my god <laughs> I'm gonna take out my hidden fashion aggression <laughs> exactly oh, hey butch yeah. come over here oh. Oh, wait, I, I hate that cool. collection. Butch, isn't it? You know what? Disposable razors? Collection. Yeah, no good. You know what I love about them? What? They're disposable. Oh, come on. You know what I realized? Cool. He saves his magazine clippings. Yeah, I mean, he's so, crazy. No, but he saves them because he uses them in his art. I gotta tell you, by the time the bottle Oh, gets... that was a bit mean, wasn't it there? A bit mean of interior design man there. What was he called? Tom. Tom Felicia. He was like, yeah, because he's insane. No, he uses them in his art, which is such a... It, it, it just says that this man is, like, in touch with his creativity. And is there anything more exciting than watching someone, like, be creatively good at something and just be expressive? I love it. Passion is so good. I gotta tell you, by the time the bottle gets dusty, oh, the red, yeah, the yeah, red yeah, wine's yeah, not yeah. good anymore, yeah. probably. I think there was a car accident because I see skid marks. <laughs> oh, grim. Okay, please. Oh, oh no! You, you know, don't wash yourself with that. The kids in gym class. They're like, um, okay, we'll take Sharon and uh, we'll take the girl in the iron lung. You guys get Carson. <laughs> we'll take the You're girl in up. the iron lung. I'm gonna yank it out. Wow, Gosh, that looks. Heavy. Iron lung joke. Like wow. Kitchen hell in here. Looks like if you were to sit on this, other than getting crabs, you'd get scoliosis. He is. So, Keon is such a, like, dom daddy top twunk. <laughs> I don't know, just his attitude, the way... I wonder if he's going to grab Butch by the hair like he did with Adam in the last episode and be like, Oh, yeah, you love that, don't you? She yeah, pegs him, I'm that. sorry. <laughs> he is someone to watch, my love, someone to watch. <laughs> Lock up your sons. <laughs> it's... It comes so out and people can stay over if I have the music is oh, really quiet. They're lined up out in the hallway, right? Oh, I mean, leave it, it looks there. actually like you're nuts, and it really does. After speaking with you, no, we... it does. If if you weren't here to represent yourself, I would think that okay, we pretty much we found him, and I'd call the police. Oh, get a grip. We've got a lot of work to do because we have to make you presentable for your gallery opening tonight. The gallery girls. No styling products. So I went through your closet. Yep. You say no styling products, but he just, he's got really lovely quality hair and maybe that's part of the problem. Maybe part of my problem is that I'm, well, I know that part of my problem is just that I must have white straight hair. And what I did is I put all the stuff that's not workable on the floor. Okay. And then I hung the, uh, the good stuff. <laughs> One shot. Of course, boys and their game things. Do you remember the gap in 85? 
If you don't, here's a visual. Gap yeah, in 86. Yeah, I know. I know, I know. Gap in 87. Imagine someone going through your closet with Tom. What you don't here. like then? It's quite a year for oatmeal. No, no. This makes me feel really uncomfortable when oh I found my it gosh. in your place. These fridges, you can just switch I know. these hinges to the other side and you'll actually be able to get into it. That's been on the list for a long time. Uh -huh. oh. I'm starting to smell like butch. My clothes are taking on his fragrance. Um, I have a question for you. That's the woman in the photograph? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. That's my friend Laurel. That's woman. cool, I like that. I'm curious about these pieces, the ones with the nails. It's all magazine paper. Really? I'm like taking what? four by four inch piece of paper, folding it down till it's this, uh -huh. and then and then I decide which color out of that four by four I want to choose. Oh, really? I thought it was going to be a background to one of the portraits at first. And I was like, wait a second, this looks good by itself. Absolutely. So oh. I just kept on doing it. Don't my oh, thing that's look kind of fun. Bins, and don't want to gotta look sweet for my man. Uh, that's uh, the way a real diva like to floss it. Buy a car no matter what it costs it. I have I mean, absolutely bed. no idea what's happening there. What's happening there? So there's, is that a, it's a, how big is this man's apartment? I don't think it's a studio at all. I think it's like, he's got, so, like, I don't understand how this, the layout works. So he's got like gym equipment. He's got an art studio, a tiny kitchen. Have we seen a bedroom yet? We've seen closets and like a living room. This is, it's very strange. I mean, I your don't bed understand. is. I can't. Can you actually? I mean, Wear does this work for you? <laughs> you don't have many guests. Oh! <laughs> it's very prison like. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, it I don't think I'd want a bedroom like that. I mean, there's no decoration here. There's nothing. No. There's no thought in anything. You're just like putting magazines in piles. Utility. I try to organize it, but it goes certain places, but it's misdirected. It's just time constraints. So, like, all right, I need something quick that'll right. do and get it out of the way. Well, let me help you work on your swing. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Like this. What is happening? Beat. What is it that you technically do for a living, would you say? We build scenery props. Oh, okay. We do stuff for Broadway, do <laughs> off-Broadway. No! Oh! Oh, my. oh uh. So when someone says off-Broadway, did he just sniff his underwear? Is that what just happened? No! That is a jock strap! Oh, Carson, you slut! Okay, um, I was going to ask a question. When someone says off-Broadway, is that the roads that come off of Broadway? Is it Broadway Avenue? I suppose it's just Broadway, isn't it? I don't quite know. When someone says off-Broadway, what does that mean? But a scenic prop guy is kind of fun. I mean, what an interest... I don't think I've ever met someone that's a scenic prop guy. Have you ever seen someone who's, who makes scenic props, like, featured in one of these makeover shows? I'm not sure I have. Oh, Carson, I can't believe you sniffed his underwear. You slag. <laughs> Oh. oh my god! His truck is not clean! We were trying to think about what to do about this gallery opening that we're going to throw for you. And right. I, I want to try to think of something that gives you a chance to be, you know, visual and expressive. Is that Carson you can hear you know, squealing in the background? Also looks cool. I need some boiling water. You guys have any boiling... Wait, is he going to serve food? He's going to serve food at the art gallery. Okay, alright. Water in here. Hey no. man, leave that alone. Okay, we're going to put that on to boil. And we maybe can pan fry this. Pan fry that. This Would you like some soy sauce it. with that? There was already some soy sauce in it. Oh, <laughs> oh good God. Yeah, yeah, was it yeah. soy sauce or boy sauce? I can't oh, remember. Oh, man. You can take the whole family camping in these. <laughs> I think we should just talk. That was, that was absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. I was sort of on the idea of being like, yeah, it's funny. He puts it in the pot, blah. As soon as you talk about, like, soy sauce and boy sauce. Oh, grim. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. I think we should just oh, here we go. totally gonna... take off the length altogether. Grab him. Mm -hmm. Donate the ponytail to Locks of Love. Right. We'll put in some color. We'll give him some texture. Mm -hmm. And it'll totally make him much more sophisticated. There's a little gay boy in Maybe Indonesia just... who'd kill for that hair. Really? <laughs> yeah. His name is Terry. Terry? <laughs> just, can you say that with me? Terry. Terry. No, Terry. No, I can't do it. Wait, let's give you an easier one. Steve. Steve. OK, these are measuring. disgusting. Yeah. But there's nothing in here for when you go out or when you have an art show, which you're gonna have tonight. Ooh, we need to get you tonight. some more serious clothes. And I don't wanna change you into like some like preppy nerd, like somebody that you're not. But we can get you some great Clean fitting jeans. We can get you things that actually fit you. Some clothes that are gonna fit your new image because we're not here to change you. We're here to make He better. loves those tongs. Sorry, tongs inspect suck. those places. It. I'm making this for Butch. So after all is said and done, yeah. what do you think, what, what are you hoping to get out of all this? I wanna use this as the way to make the step to the next level, you know, Absolutely. get the stuff seen, uh -huh. get in the gallery, get yeah. the stuff sold. I'm so excited for your day. Sell your ass, sell your ass. It's been a great day for me. Hey. Great day for me. I'm Look, I found this in his closet. Oh. oh, here we go. I love New York City oh, no. boys. <laughs> Butch and Carson. Butch and oh. Carson. Let's get out of here. We have a lot to do, guys. <laughs> All right, let's motor. All right, guys, have a good time at band camp. Bye. Oh. What's happening now? Where are we going? This one? Thank you, sir.
snatched by the queers. <laughs> Butcher's sense of style the is very limited. In every single one of these, like, early 2000s shows, it's like they don't believe in, like, giving names to the people that appear. Maybe they have to pay them, or there was some rule that was like, if you name someone on the show, you have to pay them. Because all of the, in, like, Trini and Susanna, I mean, that's, that's... British, so maybe it's not the same. But they're always like the friend, the caring person down the street, that the boss, that this typical work outfit. Uh, yeah, oh, here we are, the boss. With a farmer, jeans, the overalls, friend. construction boots, the flannel friend. shirt, cargo pants, lots of pockets, t-shirts and jeans. That's actually kind of Butch's, you know, let's go out attire as well. Oh, he just seems like a cool metalhead. Like yours. Look at this, it's yeah. like a rodent's oh tail. But I also used to be named Louise, and I lived in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think Carson of confessing. Of the I thought I'd do the unconstructed blazer, similar to what I'm wearing, because I don't want you to be like serious guy. Right. You're not like the art patron, you're right. the artist. Right. Oh, it's what a lovely we're... shot of putting things in a bag and tying it up. What a lovely shot. I bet Chopped is shaking girls. Cruise for people. If anybody <laughs> looks randy. You can cruise for women and we'll cruise for men. Cruising for women. This is very... I mean, all right. I'm gonna drop you off. <laughs> I have a, I have a little bit of running around to do preparations for our. Yeah. Look, I'm just lucky. Preparations for the fisting. <laughs> There you oh, go. Nice job. Lucky Brand is a great nice resource time. for all sorts of, basically, their focus is denim, but they have right. a lot of great vintage-inspired pieces. Right. So these okay. are all the different washes they have. Now, Pots you tell me if you details. see a color you like. It's like being at the paint store. I like know? the darker yeah. ones. <laughs> you like the darker ones? Ooh. All right. Black. We'll be just a minute. Cute. What yeah. do you think? Looks good. I like it. Nice for daytime, a little yeah. more dressed up. Those jeans look amazing on you. I think that's the right fit for you. really good. Oh, Never want to match your denims. You look like some crazy look coordinated farmer. Combining different, different washes for the top and for the bottom. That just helps to break things up a little bit. This is Prince the place Icon I Oh, they're going to buy poppers. Hey, Vahid, how are you? We want to get uh, design takeaway cards for uh, my friend Butch, who's having an art show in a gallery around here. Oh, that is fun. Oh, look at that computer. Oh. Have you ever had a man undress you before? No, I have not. Uh, really? Well, let me well just today open is your lucky day. You. Let me just see what we got here. I can take care of that myself. Doesn't that take yes. lucky Stop. on the inside? Yeah. Carson. Lucky, lucky you. you. Chicks dig that. When they start unbuttoning your pants, and there's a little message tucked there. In, tuck, out, in, what do you think? I think that's out. That I actually... like to be a little bit in, a little bit out, man. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well, let's I'll throw change. this on. Look how slim you look in this. And if I were you, I would tuck that pocket in before he does. Yeah. Uh, careful, oh. gonna shoot out here. Ah. It's still a little bit too touchy feely for my liking. A little bit on the side of like, mm, just stop harassing people. It doesn't feel anywhere near as like aggressive as Trini and Susanna for some reason, and I don't know why that is. But also, back to the layering, girls. Time to layer everything in sight, even your house. Uh, careful, Tess. Just gonna shoot out here. Ah. Oh my goodness. I'm a little frightened of this machine, actually. Oh. How industrious. Oh, disco. Uh, uh, disco slice on the game. Oh my god, Brian Sheppel. Question. Wow, this yeah, music. Arms These always have to be rolled up because I prefer them straight. You know, oh, yeah, I prefer them straight too. <laughs> oh, Carson, get a grip. Now, what I would do, I always think a good rule of thumb is they look better if they're just slightly pushed up. Right. God, you've got like big old ham hocks for arms. How do you get these over your forearm? You can wear shirts Ooh. untucked and it's totally fine and for your lifestyle and it's kind of cool and rock and roll. But then you miss that extra detail, which right. is the belt. He's right. going easy on you because he's letting you tuck your own shirt exactly. in. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Normally I'm just jamming my hands down I there. I thought we were going to have to make a little tally list of how many times. Show me on the doll where the oh, Batman wait. touched you. <laughs> yeah. Literally that. Look how freaking chic you look. Yeah, you look good. Actually, that is a nice outfit. What if you have any great parmesan? Thank you. Oh, here we go. Government cheese. Okay, that'd be great. Could I have what one more pepperoni, please? Is that a pepperoni? Oh. Uh, I think that'll do it. The Thanks deli nice. woman! Let's go in. Uh, <laughs> ready? <laughs> well, this is, is this red dot. So, so this is red dot. This great. is where you're going to show your work. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So here's the wall. Okay. It's going to be the butch wall. Should we do butch? Or? No, I think it's Brian. Brian, Brian is what I always put on, on my artwork, yeah, usually. Work. But uh, mm -hmm. butch, I'll never get away from either, so. We'd like to show you his work. Ooh, 
Oh, Brian and Butch. I wonder. Do, is Butch like a normal nickname for Brian or is this just like a personal choice thing? Because, you know, like some people have like names like Jennifer, but their nickname is like Betty for some reason. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Mm. So here's just a quick little segue. I used to be an artist liaison at a gallery in Surrey. A long time ago, girls, and I worked there for about eight weeks. And it was probably one of my most enjoyable things I did. I actually really enjoyed liaising with artists and being like, right, let's help you put things on the wall, blah. So this is really like hearkening me back because it is so lovely to see like an artist who's maybe never had like a gallery show before put their things up on the wall and then have them and stand back and be like, oh, like, I've made it, girls! Time to sell! Like, it's such a lovely thing to see. We'd like to show you his work. Great. Wait, have is you this... guys help us, uh, locate some pieces that you like. Is this that woman that's in Why his... Why don't you, you know, explain a little bit? It starts out with the portraits no? that I've done. Hmm. What's the material? How do you work? Uh, it started out with just paper and then, like, mixed media. A self-portrait. That's nice, too. Oh, yeah. Oh. I always concentrate on the faces, uh -huh. you know? I try to branch out into the bodies, but to, it becomes mostly about the face. And then this just goes into the newer stuff I've been doing, a little bit more abstract. This is all paper, but it's all folded. I really like the portraits. I do too. Mm -hmm. I like that one. Like this one. Wow. And, and that one. And he must be a bit like and nervous. Okay. Oh, lettuce, ginger, and a questionable object. I'm going to cream. Jefferson Market on the go. Hey, She's cool. coming hey, home hey, hey, with a mushroom great bag. The response, it's amazing. You know? It's know, crazy, right? huh? Yeah. Oh, was that nervous? Were you nervous because of... Oh, just to hear it in an official manner, just like discussing it, you know, right. you're in the gallery, it's yeah. a whole new world. I'm very proud of the portraits I've done. I mean, oh, especially ones yes! that have, the last two of my friend Laurel, mm -hmm. the woman. Right. I'm very proud the of them. Yeah, really expressive yeah. and uh, of who she is. Oh, it's and nice to see people to doing people well. See I'm happy, thanks. <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> Be great. I have this guy, okay. and he has an art gallery opening, and I want to do kind of something snappy, like what I have on an unconstructed blazer. Okay. Um, unconstructed. It's some really cool fabrics. It's actually just a fabric roll in the shop, unconstructed. Daytime tweed. He's an artist, and he's got an edge. Okay. Yes, we need to be edgy. No ochre, please. This is fantastic. That's ochre. Okay. <laughs> experience? Oh, yeah. Good. Oh! Butch hasn't cut his hair in how many years, years, Butch? Nine. Nine years. Nine years? But that's the yeah. point. We're going to go ahead and just take it off. Right. We're going to give him a short haircut. And he's well, agreed to sure. donate his ponytail to Locks of Love. I mean, that's very, very good, but also... Very like, great organization. He might like his long hair. I started hair. growing it for a reason, because I changed my life to a different job, a new right. area. And, Ooh. well, you know, this is going to be another period of time. Would well, you I like don't to do know the honors? Oh, I would love to do the honors. <laughs> See, look. Yeah, Dumb daddy. Top twunk. A new phase of your life. The rebirth of the artist. I oh, kind of oh, like man. it with longer hair. There it is. Oh, uh, you know what? Oh, my God. Wow. That must be so nerve-wracking. Oh, my. That's crazy. Wow. Right How are you feeling right now? Are you like a little shell shocked? Yeah, a little bit. I just want, I'm like, I want to get it. I'm like, I want to see it happen now. I just like, so I'm ready. Oh, here we go. Chaotic Carson in the boudoir. Great if he were a welder. When he's done with the welding, he could just flip it back and go from welding to evening in one simple change. That is a horrible I'm jacket. A runway. Oh, it's the music. And pivot. Da, da, da. Have you ever been to one? Da, da, da. Which influence Master Move 2. I'm using Alsace directly. Ooh. All right, let's see. All right, let's see. What's, what are they going to do? It's like the memory's sort of coming back of what it was like to have no hair back there, you know? Hanging in there. So the weird thing is, is that in the last episode when we when we saw Adam get a haircut, it was just his same hair, but a lot shorter. So I don't know how they're going to style his hair here, but I hope it doesn't end up a bit like Alex Jones vibes. Like I'm not really into that, but it does seem to be that a lot of these styling shows, when they think of like men styling, they're like Alex Jones hairstyle. Yes. Maybe the frogs really did turn gay. Oh yeah. Watch the hair kind of fly. Oh yeah. Yeah. There we go. Like, you know, when I first saw the photographs, I was, I'm like, I'm sure he's a nice guy. <laughs> but I would never have looked at you and thought, oh, wow. You act, for me now, you're actually, it's actually like, wow. Slaps. <laughs> oh, you're actually, for me now, you're actually like, oh, wow. You can really dance. 
<laughs> I get very specific vibes from Keon, my loves. Very specific vibes. Do you get them as well? Because I certainly do. Right, time for some color girls. Which, when you do your art, is there like a, a motion that comes through for you when you're working? She's just it's really just looking, opening your eyes in a different you... way. That's really Freehand? what we're trying to do Die? for you. Exactly. You know, the five of us. Hang on a second. She's really freehanding that dye, and that dye is wet. I can understand freehanding, like, bleach, especially if you're going to do something that's, like, a clay-based bleach that will stay where it is and just kind of, like, create, like, a sun-kissed highlight. But the idea of, like, freehanding dark dye, she's just like, do, can, do you, what? Do you freehand dark dye? Hairdressers in the audience, do you freehand? Dark dye. Do I even need to specify dark there? Because dye is always darker. For those of you who don't know, you can't actually dye your hair blonde. You always have to lighten it. Uh, so have you see yourself in a completely different way? I definitely appreciate it. It's You'll just a, it's that. amazing. I have trouble expressing it sometimes because it's happening so quickly. It's a bit frightening, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Build that fridge, sis. Yeah. What thrilling content. <laughs> but you've never had your eyebrows colored. Uh, that's a good bet. <laughs> Why are you getting rid of his I lovely blonde? You'll end up addicted to this. <laughs> really? Absolutely. I'm gonna definitely get great shock value out of this. Definitely. <laughs> Who's gonna be the biggest reaction? Uh, my friend Laurel, she'll be, uh, she might start crying. You notice in the mirror as you're just looking forward, you can see with your eyebrows a little darker and the hair a little bit lighter, your eyes are looking a little stronger. Are we gonna be cleaning up his facial hair? We're gonna hair? be cleaning up his facial hair. Um... Um, um, okay, we're gonna um, finish it off with a little bit of rough paste. Just a touch. Take your product, warm it up in your hands. That's gonna emulsify it just a little bit. And the messier, the better. This yeah. is not rocket science. Do not make it difficult. Oh my God, he looks sexy. <laughs> Hot. It does look good. Yeah. It's great. I think it looks I great. I hate it. it. Oh no! Oh, kissy booth! I don't like it. I really don't like it. They've done exactly the same as what they did with Adam's hair, which is just kind of like... They haven't really given it shape. They've tried to give it texture, but it's there's still too much of it. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe just like... Maybe that was the style, and I'm just being a bit critical because I've got 2022 vision now. I nearly said 2020. <gasps> Time is moving too quickly! Isn't that cute? Thanks a lot. Congratulations. Mm. All right. Invite her to here. the gallery. Hello. Oh, my God. You look amazing. What do you think? Hey, Doesn't he look you. great? Look at this. And Immediately it's touches yeah, freshly shaven face. Little light bits in there. Sounds. Let's go on back. Okay. Mm. Come on back. Okay, right. maybe the deeper dye, the freehand dye didn't matter Hollywood tans. Right now he's got like so a much. Dollywood tan. Not very flattering. Just the neck no. and the arms. Not very good. Ooh. Find the black button, close your eyes, push it. When you feel the spray, release the black button, and then you have to do like a little calisthenic movement. And one. Go. And two. There you go. And three. What is and this? I have never in my life seen a a spray tanning booth like this? I mean, obviously they exist. I've seen like signs for them, but I didn't know that this is actually what they look like. I've only ever worn fake tan. DIY fake tan. Turn face us and go for it. There you go, now do your exercise. No, jump around. Higher. Oh, higher. Higher. Oh, I can mean it. Beautiful. Like a rocket. Keep your eyes on. Those aren't spirit fingers. Hi, okay. Now rub it in. Rub it in like crazy. Simon says touch your ankle. Get under your arms. Don't forget your legs. Top to your feet. Your feet. You're doing really good. Okay, come on out here. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, Number you one. missed a spot. I'm just gonna rub it in. Hey, thank you. Hello. Oh, wow. stop it. Three to five days. And I gotta turn my hand off. Can you too? breathe? No, that comes later. All right. Look at that. Doesn't that feel good? Is that a okay, testicle so you're freshly cut. Does the shopping? You have a little bit of a tan. Yep. Wow. Well, let's get you home, range. see your new house, and get you out of these horrendo. Could you, could you not have just waited for him to put on his shoes before you start talking to him like this? Like he's just on the floor on one knee, like undoing his laces, while you're like, la 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 la. Could production have not just given him like two minutes to do his shoes so that they can then then have their jovial back and forwards? I'm getting a bit like I don't know, parents telling their child because the child is in dungarees whilst doing their shoes with a fresh haircut. I don't know, very parent vibes. Come on, Go. kids. Let's motor. Okay. Let's go, handsome. The void. He's got stuff everywhere. Rows and rows of piles of magazines. A lot of yes. clutter. Canvases yeah. on the wall, on the floor. God forbid you get drunk in this place, because you're going to bang your head off something. It's just a big clutter. So you're going to look amazing tonight for your big yeah. unveiling. You're gonna oh, be he looks totally different. Totally different. You're going to be different. our little piece of work. <laughs> yeah. Oh. 
could be mummy's little slut. <laughs> So you have something for tonight, like the outfit. I have the outfit right. for tonight. Okay, right. I don't get his like personal style now. You know what might break the ice tonight? People are gonna say, how are you doing? And then you say, this is what I always say, super, thanks for asking. Very I'm good. super, thanks for asking. That was very good. Very good. That, Here why we you are. are. I can't wait to see I what the so miracle sorry. worker has done. Right, let's, let's see the do apartment. Do that. Don't get run over. Beep, beep, I've got gout. Come on. Mean people suck. Mean people suck. Oh, I cannot suck. wait to see this. Oh. Hello. Oh you guys are at the wrong door. Oh. No. You have a new oh, nature change it. it. <laughs> Aren't you adorable? Doesn't he look so... You're just the cutest what? thing ever. You changed the entrance. Well, oh, wow. He has two I doors? I got <laughs> alarm me. Whoa. This looks amazing. <laughs> oh, my look goodness. Look at this. Hey, awesome. I want to see your... I'm so confused. How can you have two front doors to your apartment? What? Is that common in America? This, I cannot understand. I do not understand the like floor plan of this apartment. I don't know how big it is. I don't know how many rooms it has. I don't know where the entrance is. I don't know where the windows are. What is this? God, I cannot oh, believe oh, what a difference. Look so handsome. You, look you look incredible. Yeah, yeah we need to look around. Oh, man. <laughs> awesome. You put a living room where the crack den used to be. <laughs> the concept of the Toys apartment Toys R Us really crack kind den girls. Change the whole layout of it and make the living room, which was in the middle, now in the front by the windows, right. and giving your bedroom and your office and your dressing room. Awful blinds over there. I had in there. Okay. It looks great in here. It looks really great in here. Thank you. I don't know there, I think he looks really good. I don't feel like he looked a bit like this earlier when he was coming out of the like spray tanning place. Is it, but he's wearing a different top, so maybe it's a slightly different day or something? I don't know, because they're all trying to act like it's like this is all done in one day. And I suppose it can do, because they haven't exactly done loads and loads and loads, have they? But like, I don't know. He looks completely different to when we first met him at the beginning of the show. Putting the sofa here, you're actually in the window, which is nice. You get right. fresh air and good light. Oh, no, he is the same outfit. you get the whole line of the apartment. Oh, I absolutely mm -hmm. love it. It's you amazing. Do. This song. This is your art gallery on this okay, side of great. the apartment. So when you're standing here, you can kind of see oh, it's all so of much art better. this way. The much idea, cleaner this, lines. This is all white. It presents better here. Right. So this is the so wall much you better. present your art. Right. And then yes. this side where the red, this red was here. Right. And I figured you liked it, and yeah. I liked it. So what I did is I had Benjamin Moore match the paint color for us. Oh, made the whole west Benjamin. Side of the Stonehenge. Apartment red. This is your office area. Do you love it? That yeah, looks love it. so it's much it's better. Amazing. Go up there and Such roll a good use of it. Oh my god! I used to have that bed. I used to have that exact bed. Well, maybe something very, very, very similar. And I used to literally have my office space underneath. That's how I used to edit my videos way back in 2008. Oh my goodness! Trend setting, sis. Mm. I'm about the, the normal body weight of, of every average American female. Yeah. Oh. She weighed 160 well, they're around. Really tragic. Oh. These guys make a really cute couple. Don't we look really cute? Yeah, we do. Oh. Now give each other a little kiss. Okay. This is your kind of dressing area. You Slat. can take your watch off, your sunglasses. <laughs> right. You know, it kind of makes sense. Good place to keep your tools when you're running out the door in the morning to go exactly. to work. This used to be your staircase to get into your bed. <laughs> okay. It took the other pieces off, mounted it to the wall. This that was is your a clever piece. Use. Put some little legs on it. Oh, the music again. I actually really like the way that they reuse a lot of what's already there. I really enjoy that. I think that's such a, like, an important thing to remember when you're doing like a renovation is that not absolutely everything needs to be brand new. You can repurpose certain things to make other things a lot better, like repainting things, taking things apart and putting, splitting them up or putting them together into one sort of thing and changing the angle of something. It's actually very enjoyable. Maybe I should do that with a few pieces that I have. Oh, Sparkly women on the game. I've just been struck by an idea for my bookshelf. We put your hoof covers Ridiculous. in here. Ridiculous. Great. You know, your fancy hoof shoes. Hoof covers. Your less fancy hoof shoes. Covers? And your tissues, which I won't even talk about where, <laughs> I, where, I, where I found those and why they were there. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know if you noticed the kitchen color that's great was inspired by i was gonna say artwork. something absolutely foul then <laughs> i forgot that we're not on twitch come and join me over on twitch my lovelies we can actually talk about adult situations so can we say <laughs> it's luxaria players come join me over there for more acceptable uh conversation shall we say where i don't have to watch what i say because susan's like i saw that disgusting pervert that's great was inspired by your artwork 
took the not attractive stuff, put it away, put the more attractive Ooh. stuff out. Makes that. sense. Ooh. It's a new concept. Definitely. It's about it's being great. attractive. It's great. <laughs> they really paid for the rights for this song, didn't they? <laughs> Grit. We're doing your gallery show. Right? So I, I couldn't even pay attention to what they were showing me there because that music does something to my soul. Okay, so this is the before. That is so much. Although it does kind of make the room look we're a bit doing smaller. We're your gallery show, right? But so I like the color. Food for the gallery. Exactly. What I the have gallery. is this great lavash. It's a, it's a Middle Eastern flatbread. Right. Uh, so we don't have to make dough, and which is a big pain in the neck. Oh. Top it, bake it, instant pizza. And then now. I've gone to uh, Jefferson Market and I've got all sorts of ingredients. Think of this yeah. as your little lavash canvas. Why have lavash they zoomed canvas. in on the, the right. ugliest part This of is that. gonna be a pizza without sauce because it's gotta hold for a while right. and it's gotta be room temperature. Exactly. So if we spread a sauce on here, it's gonna get all sogged up and that's no good. Hmm. We're gonna stick them in your oven for seven sogged minutes. Sogged up, okay. it's gonna get right sogged up. That is disgusting. So they get crispy. Notice that one of the one of the best things Tom did in your kitchen <laughs> is he put that door handle <laughs> to the fridge the and the opens it to the room. Yeah. Oh. Check it out. So what you're, is this? you're into the mosaics. Right. So what if we put these little grape-sized tomatoes on here in kind of a pattern? In a mosaic. Sprinkle a little garlic right. on here, and then for color and flavor, a little basil. That kitchen is so tonight, tiny. We have a guy who's helping us transport these pizzas over to the gallery. Okay. So you don't have to worry about that. Great. You just have to cook them all. I just have to cook them. All. I would find I would find it so stressful, like trying to cook myself some food in that kitchen, because there's just literally the tiniest surface space. I mean, you could probably get like a, a fold-up table if you really needed like the extra kitchen space for cooking, but that would really stress me out. Are, are you excited about this? Oh yeah, I love it. Exhibition love it. deal? Yeah. Oh please, that's, that's pretty cool. I don't know how I could not be excited about it. <laughs> This is a much better choice than the choices that this chef made in the last video. In the last episode, he was like, Thick truffle with foie gras mousse And everyone was like, <laughs> I don't like it. And not only that, the slices of the truffles were absolutely abhorrent. They were like, literally like wedges of truffle. No, this seems like so much more of a, like a, a friendly, like nibbly, mealy nibbles canapes. Like who doesn't really like tomatoes, cheese, and like a flatbread. Like that's very straightforward, isn't it? I mean, unless of course you're allergic or have intolerances, but still, foie gras mousse, ugh. Let's Imagine make fashion it. happen. Oh, is Assistance? it fashion time? Yeah, Can you please oh, disrobe yeah. the victim? Oh no. Disrobe the victim. Nude. Now, oh. you might think that these horrendous old things look absolutely disgusting, but when you mix it with fashion and give it a twist, I'm gonna show you. Mix it with wow. fashion. Oh, now I wow. took this tuxedo shirt. It's from DKNY. And then what, what I would do, Donna Karan. I wouldn't even do a belt here. I'm going to show you a little fashion trick. Uh -oh. I would fashion. just take your waistband right. and roll it over. And it just looks really easy. It's almost like you're wearing a sash or a cummerbund, but it's actually just the roll over your pants. It's very cool. Just finessing that, rolling up the sleeves. No, I'm not even going to go there, sis. No. It looks like you're wearing a sash or a cavalier, whatever he said. No, it just looks like the top of your trousers have rolled down accidentally. Carson the fashion queen. I don't know yet, girls. <laughs> Judging it, as we say in fashion land. Repeat after me. Judge. Judging it. Yeah. Judge it. Judge. You look fantastic. Thank you. Palari this is girl. From Wilson's leather. Very it's nice. not expensive. You can, if you don't have one. Oh, just. I have something to say here. So, in the last uh, episode, there were a few people in the comments that were like, judging, it was invented by this show, and I was so shocked. No, the word zhuzh is not invented by Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. The word zhuzh is Polari, and Polari is the name given to language that was spoken by predominantly gay men to go undetected that they were gay men in the 60s and the 50s. So, no, Queer Eye for the Straight Guy did not invent the word zhuzh. The history of Polari also goes even deeper than this. Consult your Google machine if the feeling takes you. If you don't have one in your neighborhood, you can, you know, log on to their website on the internet. And these things are really their 100 bucks, $200. Right. And it just makes it sophisticated and yeah. has a vintage Carson, yeah. there's quite a big difference between 100 bucks and $200. It's like in the UK saying, oh, that jacket's 100 pounds. It's then very different to say, oh, that's a 200 pound jacket. And it just makes it sophisticated and has yeah. a vintage Yay. flair. A vintage flair. I like he does that. love his vintage Doesn't look great. Yeah, and it's nice right. with your whole color story. Take a look. It's just so it. ochre. You look hot. How is it more ochre? It still looks like you. Then we went no, to Lucky. No, it doesn't. And we just got some great denim looks. 
These are treated to look like vintage, and these are actually called cat's whiskers. Now let's just take it up a notch. You can wear this to go out for drinks. It's still casual, it's still your lifestyle. But now we throw on a blazer oh. from CP Company, and then we put some beautiful Ray-Bans on. This is very Dennis Hopper and Easy Rider. Oh. You look good. Oh, he does look completely different. All oh, this pissing music. Da, 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 I got count. Da, da, da. Just step on into your dressing area. Yes. Oh, he's got an echo. Just to keep it simple, I'm going to put your look for tonight in here. Okay. It's a washed jacket. It's in cotton poplin. It's sophisticated. It's cotton really chic. Poplin. I brought the suit pant from CP Company. Right. So it's a complete suit, okay? Ooh, fancy. So you can wear that. wear that with your wingtip shoes with no socks, and that gives a little bit of twist. You're going to wear that with the piece de resistance. Oh, here we go. I've taken one of your pieces of artwork, oh, nice. your self-portrait. Very nice. And I've committed I've fraud! Turned it into a t-shirt. We just did a heat transfer. We're promoting yourself tonight. This night is all about you. Are you excited? Um, look how great, no words. Look how great that's going to look. It's great. It's oh, excellent. he's been okay. so speechless the whole time. You're not going to me for taking your artwork and making not a t-shirt, are you? Yes. So I Good. think you're See queer. you at Judge you're Rinder. Queer. I'm queer. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. One of yeah. the first things I noticed about him when I saw his hair is like, oh, it's really thin and fine. Right. And now that that's is not. It, looked, that's it, it looks notice. totally full and totally lush. When we were at the salon, I picked up some great Redken products. Okay. Okay. So what we used at the Anti salon snap. today was the rough paste. Use a small yeah. amount when you get out of the shower after you've towel dried your hair. You get the product in there. You don't have right. to like style it right off the get go. Work in from the back. Oh my God. Can they really stop with these puns, the please? Looks... Move, I'm gay. I love the back kind of messy like that. that. I yeah. well, that's the haircut. You know, that's the genius of it a good haircut. It looks great like that. I like it messy. Like, kind so of this is look right here. What I'm seeing is a good square shape. You've got this fun stuff going on, the in the, going on in the back. Yeah. If you look, if you just play fun with these the bits back. on the side, you see that in the front, and I really like that. Right. Yeah. So I'm using my fingers just to give it a little bit of shape here. Right. And then just a finger or two. I really like this sort of side yeah. look. I do you. too. It looks you know? great. And just okay. don't be afraid to play. You really can't go wrong. So, so tonight I mean, there's right. going to be a lot of different kinds of people there. Right. And certainly you want to make as many connections as possible in the short amount of time that you're going to have. Not yes. get stopped up in one corner. I think smiling, eye contact, shaking hands when you meet and when you leave. So what we're going to do right now Etiquette is we're going to have a little mock scenario as if we are in the gallery. Yes. Each of them is going to be a different type Ooh. of person that you might encounter tonight in your game. Role play, girls. Let's do some role play. Who's going to be the Karen? I pissing hate your f***ing artwork, you <laughs> Oh, if you've worked in retail, you've definitely dealt with one of them. Or 20. Ready? And scene! Hi, how are you? I'm, how are you doing? Uh, I'm uh, great, thanks. How are you? Hey, I haven't seen you in ages. Oh my oh. gosh. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming to my show. You know, but what oh. about, can you tell me some more about this painting? It's really well, gorgeous. Well, this is actually, uh, just a, actually, I, I pieced it together by That's blah, just like blah, something blah, blah, blah. I put in my exactly. kitchen. Exactly. You know? I just, did I tell you about my new Joseph, kitchen? it was so good to see you. I have to go, I have to just go, I'll be right back. And that I is the worst it. exit. Sure That's I get terrible. Oh, uh, I just really came for the liquor. Really? <laughs> well, this this piece right here is a pig. Oh! It's actually, oh God, are you the artist? I am the artist. I am so. Oh, sorry. oh no, you know what? No, it's I love totally it. Cool. <laughs> I'm Stu. I'm I'm an artist. Nice. It's so good to meet you. Nice. This is actually um all my stuff here tonight. I like your shirt. Oh do you? Thank you. I actually painted it myself. It's green. <laughs> Great, yeah. yeah. Hey listen, um it was so good to meet you. I'm just gonna go run off and say hello to some friends I just saw Well, we can in. tell the type of guys so listen, that he so likes. Going and personal <laughs> that I don't think people are gonna find you so intimidating to approach because before you were a little frightening to approach, but you're much more presentable now. Okay, we've got some flatbreads here. His tan this is the one quite of good. Uh, of Butch's own uh, devices. I love Ted. It kind of looks like a fish. No, it looks like his artwork. Look. It does. Doesn't that look perfect yeah. there? All right, guys, so I think our work is done here. Yeah. Cheers. I'm not sure Cheers. about that. Cheers, they brought in a chef for that. They brought in a chef for that. A professional chef. They brought in a chef for that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Here's everybody yeah, like bottoms up and the devil laughs. I can't believe what's uh, happened today, you know. Again, without words, it's an amazing thing. Go ahead and make us proud. We'll I definitely watching. will. You know, well, I'm excited to see how it goes. Uh, see me again, uh, hopefully, in newspapers and uh, this In the news, see you in the magazine. High five. Shake the lady. <laughs> Don't shake the lady. <laughs> Oh, the void. Are we so excited? Oh, right. Are we at the end? Oh, everybody be quiet, girls. There he is. Oily. He's oh. drizzling like a pro. He's oh, no, drizzling with the best too drizzly. He got that pizza maker's hand where it just yeah, so yeah, casually yeah. drizzles the food products. Oh, this is very strange vibes. I'm getting like, I'm reacting to them reacting to something that they're watching. Oh! Oh, sometimes every now and then it just kind of dawns on you how ridiculous everything is. <laughs> oh, 
olives, garlic, Stonehenge. Is that ham? <laughs> That's that tasso ham, that fabulous Cajun ham. It's with a little designer spot. ham. Designer Ooh. ham. I love a good designer meat. It's gonna get Smart. naked. Nah, 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 nah. Oh yeah. Uh -oh. All right. Oh, oh my god. He's in a rush. He's bouncing a little bit. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Bosoms. Look at all. He's got all his products right. on the TV no. still. Oh. <laughs> You can take the guy out of the straight, but you can't take the straight out of the guy? No, I'm pretty sure you can. Oh. Don't burn your nipples, girl. He's kind of sweating on the food. But isn't this a health code violation? I think she needs a body net on. He needs a hair net. Let's see if he does the hair right. Back to the front. Oh! She can follow instructions. I've cracked the code, oh, girl. girl. She's got a degree. He's working a product in. He looks hot. He does look looks really hot. good. He he looks like hot. he's been doing this all he his life, so doesn't he? Much better. It's incredible. This is custom couture by moi. Yeah. Custom couture. His artwork, his self-portrait. Janice Dickinson will put it in a fountain, quick! No, wait, what's he doing? This is the wrong answer. He's putting the jeans back on. Why? I bought him a suit. Hello, cha-ching. Why is he not wearing it? This isn't so bad because he's putting the jacket on with the dark wash jeans, which will still look okay. Oh, Carson is livid. Absolutely livid. A tip for a vintage flare a with no sock. A fashion wing tip for a vintage flare. I quite like that. It's very daytime tweed evening chiffon. With no socks, which is it. the only way to go. Rub those heels away, girl. We don't need I skin. I want to see if he goes back for a second judge of the hair, though, like I told him to do. Yeah, just a little one. Yay! Oh. There's my boy. Are we, are we starting to ship them? I think I'm going to ship them a little bit. Off to the gallery! New York City! Is it New York City? Oh, <laughs> the gallery. Voila. The Goulara. Oh, look. Look at all these now women. Are you a baby. That's the, that looks like the girl from his portrait. Union Jack. Yeah, I think that's is her. This, is this his like... Oh, the takeaway card. The takeaway interest. cards. Look, 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 look. Oh, yeah, look. They're, they're actually checking them out. Everyone is long hair. Did you notice? It's like a cult. They look like a bunch no. of rage to <laughs> No. Cult. No, it's just a personal style. <gasps> there he is, girl. Everyone gaped. Immediately gaped. Is someone crying? Yeah, like sobbing? Yeah. Oh, we've got a gasper. <laughs> the girls are going crazy. Oh, man, it's just crazy. That is a lot of people in that room to just walk into. And they're just like... She is so into him. Did he grow his hair out again, I wonder? Look at that tanning bed. Who haven't I seen yet? Oh, how are you doing? Well, it's kind of hot. That guy is hot. I think he just touched his ass. I think, oh my god. Oh. Do people like it? Man, it's too much. Eat it and let's see. It is a lot, isn't it? Look at her. She's still, She's still shocked. She's Are still, they trying no, to make this... this point. She's checking She's, them out. Yeah. yeah. Enamored. Are they trying to make that storyline? Oh, my God. All of these women are talking to him like, oh, isn't this weird? Oh, my God. Shall I just sing Adele? It's <laughs> She's like, she's like, why can't she be more like him? I'm freaking out. I don't want to cut my hair. I don't want to cut my hair. I'll do my long hair, damn it. Is that like a tiger's ass? No, that's my face, actually. Oh, easy oh, lady. I just put him on the t-shirts. I don't paint him. You should find out about his tanning thing, because he yeah. was pale as his ass. Yeah. Like, yeah. She so wants to sleep with him, she can barely see straight. Really what is this angle? But true. Excuse me. Confident queen. First of all, I want to thank everybody for coming down. Let's I really see the big appreciate reveal. it. Thanks for everybody for coming what down. This is an amazing like experience. That? It's just, it's just too much. 
Yeah. I was going to say something hideous He's again. I'm so excited, you guys. This is his first art gallery experience, let alone opening. But this Ooh. is why I brought you here, so uh, let's... Uh, Come on, girl. Reveal. Oh, I feel like we're on the swan. Oh, the void. Take a look. Ryan Shepard. Ah. Uh, Enjoy, take a look. Thanks again. That is my name. That is my name. Oh, what's the lady going to think of her portrait? Open the wall. Crazy, huh? Oh, I think he's a bit drunk. <laughs> She's like, meet me in the bathroom. I want to have sex with you. <laughs> In the bathroom. Hey, that's good. That's good. Ready? Hold still. Oh, the love interest. What an astute woman. I don't know who you are, but I'm glad you came out. How are you doing? Thanks for coming. Alton Robbins is my name. I'm an art critic. Oh, yeah? Or not. Who are these people? These are nice. friends of mine. That's a self-portrait. You work in the, in the movies? Because I see something... I see, like, this, something cinematic the way this is. Do you no work in the it's movie? Like, I'm a behind-the-scenes person. I build scenery for props. Oh! Like it in, makes it intimate. Right. Because of uh, the texture. And you got to be close to see that, right. right? Yeah, that's great. Thank you very much. Keep up the work. Keep up the good work. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It's, uh, I can't help but do it. You know, it's just one of those things. But He is yeah, giving him the eyes. He's like, this keep up the good work. Like pro. You know, the one girl said how comfortable he looked in his skin, and yeah. I have to agree, he is... He's a real easy spirit. He's on top it's of it. Yeah, give me my card. You can keep me on your mailing. Great. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. He's, he's getting, getting his card. Yay! Yay! Well done. Go, Butch. Yay, our critic down. Yes. Here's the critic. That is that Thank was you very cool. much. Have a good time. Can I get everybody's attention? That was a weird interaction. That was a very strange interaction. That was either staged or something else is going on there because that was a very strange interaction, my loves. What do you think? Oh, wait, there's some announcement. Oh, there's an or announcement. Some Greek dancing going on. Dancing. <laughs> Excuse me. I'd just like to, uh, I'd like to make a toast to, uh, Butch, Brian. That's me. Um, incredible. This is really, uh, Shut unbelievable. Up. You look great, man. I didn't think you looked great without the long hair. You'd look yeah, great without your long hair. Why'd you cut too. yours off? Well, actually, I was just trying to protect it, you yeah, know? Yeah, I know. You know how Thanks, we are. Thanks, man. I appreciate the effort. Anyway, the artwork's great, and, uh, you know, thank you all for coming. This is incredible. Great yeah, moment. Great you. night for Butch. <laughs> Cheers. That wasn't the most inspiring speech. Hey. Oh! So what do you guys think? He's the just, end. It looks like he really sort of adopted the vibe that we... He totally the shouldn't. vibe. I couldn't be more proud. I think he did a great job. He was working that room like a Kennedy. He really was. I mean, oh, he has I new think. hair, new clothes. I think he was totally psyched about change. He had so much talent, and it was all pent up in there, and he really wasn't sharing it. And when he shared himself, yeah. and that kind of that rough exterior got chipped away, What's not to love? All right, Dr. Hayworth. We took a slab of raw beef and we made it into, what was that designer meat? It's sort of like Tasso a ham. Tasso ham. Tasso He's ham. like a spicy ham. When he went back to the mirror for that second judge, mm -hmm. I, we knew we had we him. We knew we had him. This we section is so judge. strange. Yeah, the second judge. Here's to bringing out the best in Butch. Cheers, yeah. boys. To butch. From Butch to banging. Cheers, Cheers. ladies. Cheers, From Butch players. to banging. Clothes may make the man, but accessories Ooh. make the man fabulous. Why not get a vintage belt buckle and antique strap? on an antique strap. Take your outfit from drab to fab in no time at all. When entering a room, body Not language sure is that. key. Chin up, chest out, and with the hint of a smile, you'll own the room. If you find yourself with flowers that are not open, there's three easy steps. Cut on the bias, place in warm water, and blow. Get the summer glow without the damage. Try a sunless tanning lotion. To ensure an even application, exfoliate before you apply. Whether you're Ooh. browning, searing, or just setting things on fire, a kitchen blowtorch is fun for the whole family. Little Darren, burn your house down. Oh my gosh, okay, I've got thoughts, go. Right, laptop away, I'll hang it out. Let's talk about what we have seen in today's episode, my lovelies. So, I, I don't know. I mean, I could see that he looked like a lot better and a little bit more like alive and like... I don't know, what should we say? Like, I guess up on current trends back then for the early 2000s. But there, I, I feel like they took quite a lot of his identity away there. They did give him like a sort of 
semi, like a semi casual business chic kind of thing. But I'm not sure that that was really him. So Brian to me kind of came across a little bit like alternative, a little bit into his like metalhead bars, a little bit into like, I don't know, a little bit of like a whiskey drinking guy, like that kind of vibe to me. And I think by cutting his hair so short and giving it that texture and making him dress quite preppy, even though Carson earlier in this episode was like, we're not going to make you dress preppy. We're still going to do you just a little bit more, you know, chic or whatever it was that he said. I still feel like they took quite a lot of his identity away just by cutting his hair. The thing is, is it's very of the time. Even the hairstyles are very of the time. Everyone has like that kind of like slightly outgrown long hair. Whereas nowadays, I feel like everyone is almost like fade-tastic. Everyone wants a fade, short, cropped hair with like curls on top. I feel like that's very the style of now. I did find it kind of strange as well that they tried to go with that, that like storyline of, oh, he's going to impress the lady and the lady wants to sleep with him in the bathroom because she's loose, girls. That was a very strange segment of the show. I don't quite understand why they decided to go for that angle, but I mean, I guess it makes sense with the idea that he, like, made a portrait of her a few times, I guess. But, like, was that guy that she was with, like, her boyfriend at the end? And she was like, you should try it, Dan. Maybe you should cut your hair. So why are you with this guy if you're if you're kind of like, oh, don't tan, and oh, you've got long hair. Do you know what I mean? Like, very, very, really odd segment there. But once again, we've seen a makeover show that's a little bit less egregious and aggressive. And the fact that in this show, all these guys were just so happy saying, like, oh, he looks hot. We're gonna do this over here. They look hot. Oh, you look so much hotter now. What a handsome man. That would have been so groundbreaking for the time that this was on TV because I I can't like even back in like 2003 or 2002 I could never have imagined calling a guy hot at least on like at least like out loud I suppose at least out loud goodness me what a history we've led as LGBT people wow Oh, feelings and emotions in the studio today, my loves. Let me know what you guys think about what we have seen in today's episode. I do kind of want to know if Brian kept the short hair or if he grew the hair out again. I don't know. I just kind of want to know. I feel like a lot of his identity was in that longer hair and it kind of felt like it was lost a little bit once it was gone. Anyway, my loves, it is time for the Patreons. You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen right here. Yes, you can. And I want to say a massive hello and welcome to Sushi9393, Izzy O'Connell, Emma Coburn, Hayley Keenan, Para Casual Fruitcake, Kelly Strong, Brittany Britenny, Naomi Begg and Veronica. Thank you guys so much for joining the Patreons if you want to join. Please check the link in the description box below and you'll get access to multiple different perks. Oh, yes. And today's Twitch shout out goes to Little Kitten 130. Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch, you stunning woman on the go. And if you want to be in with a chance of being featured in my next video's Twitch shout out, make sure you follow me on Twitch. It is Luxaria Plays. And I stream two nights a week, Monday and Thursday, my loves. See you over there. Oh, yes. Once again, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons Aloria, Stephanie Neotupski, Laura Ali, Steph Utech, Orcos Samoji, Abigail Ash, Beebles32, Caitlin Coating, Shell Herman, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Crafty Leaks, Danielle, Dr. A, Jevod, Elizabeth Stone, Igo Go Yubari, Jared Pavlovsky, Jen Martin, Jenny Hendricks, Caitlin Wright, Min Min TM, Moisten98, Mariah Sherman, Nixie Tricks, Paolo Rivera, Pink Caramel, Princess Lilium, Rachel V, Seabiscuit, Romano, Ryan Vita, Sasha Smith, Sexy Texy RN, Slampire Queen, Succubus Lena, Travel, Romo, Victoria Carella, Victoria Waldock, and Zaya Naza. Thank you guys for allowing this channel to thrive and survive. And you know what, my loves? I'm going to leave it on the note of always, always, always remember, even if you do want a style makeover or a style overhaul or something like that, you can absolutely keep one or two aspects of your own style in there. You don't have to change absolutely everything about you if you want to just up, do a little bit of an upgrade, shall we say? Do a little bit of an upgrade. And with that, my loves, I will see you in the next video. <gasps> yeah.